case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1980 United States District Court case Friends for All Children Inc. v. Lockheed Aircraft Corps, James Reynolds sought compensation for injuries sustained in a plane crash, with Lockheed conceding responsibility. The central focus of the case was the use of collateral estoppel, which prevents relitigation of issues already decided in prior cases. Reynolds filed a motion in Lemin to prevent Lockheed from disputing certain issues previously decided in his favor. The judge granted his motion, limiting the evidence to Reynolds' physiological injuries and the amount of compensation required. In a series of trials, a single jury handed down different verdicts for different plaintiffs. Even though one verdict was set aside and a new trial ordered, the court ultimately deemed collateral estoppel fair in this case. Consequently, the defendant could argue alternative causes for Reynolds' injuries, but they could not dispute the sufficiency of the crash causing the injuries. The case established the principle that, as long as none of the factors arguing against its use are present, and estoppel does not compromise fairness or correct resolution of the dispute, collateral estoppel can be used to prevent opponents from relitigating the same issue in the current case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.